What is good everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Paul and I make two types of videos here. The first is about Japanese society, life and culture and the second is about sneakers. And today is a sneaker video and I am pleased to bring you a video about a pair of shoes that have been an absolute grail for me that I have just picked up. Now, grail means something different to different people, but for me, basically, it's a pair of shoes that when I first saw them, I knew I wanted to have them, and that feeling has persisted over a good length of time, but because of either too high of a price or really limited availability, or more likely both, I was unable to get the pair of shoes. Now, the last pair of grails that I actually was able to pick up were these, the reverse shattered backboards or the shattered backboard 2.0. I did a video about these a little over a year ago and I was so happy when I found these. They were used, they didn't come with a box, but the price was right and so I pulled the trigger. The same story for the pair of shoes today. I've been waiting forever for a price point that I felt that I could stomach and actually justify paying for and finally after well over a year of watching prices, finally found one that I thought I could justify buying. So if you are a friend of the channel and you watch my videos a lot, or you're looking at this pair of grails that I picked up last time, you might be surprised by the pair of shoes that I got that I call a, a grail for me, because you'll know from watching the channel that I usually do a lot with Jordan brand and Nike, a little bit with Adidas, but today's grail pair is neither one of those. Okay, as soon as you see the box, many of you will know exactly what they are. So give me just two seconds to go get it. Blam! There you have it, a New Balance box, which literally has artwork all over it. It happens to be the Havasu Falls in Arizona, which is part of the Grand Canyon. And aside from New Balance, on the side of the box, it says Salehi Bembri. This is one of the first collaboration shoes that the designer did with New Balance brand. And let's be honest, it's been well over a year since these shoes dropped. And we have to admit that this pair of shoes and the collaboration between New Balance and Salehi Bemery were a big reason for New Balance's surge into the consciousness of sneakerheads and fashionistas everywhere. Basically, this is one of the pair of shoes that started off the whole New Balance craze and it was a pair of shoes because of the colorway I knew I just had to have right from the start. All right, so the top comes off. We have more artwork inside. And I've seen this before because I've seen this exact same thing on the inside of the yurt, which is a pair of Salehi Bembry New Balance that I picked up for hiking. Same art inside the box there. But inside the New Balance paper, along with an authentication card, I got these through the resale site Sneaker Dunk, not sponsored. We have the Salehi Bembri Water Be the Guide. And the whole theme of the sneaker is all about water, starting off with the artwork from the falls here and the falls on the side of the box here but the shoe itself is all this aquamarine turquoise color with greens and browns, and it really does call attention to this idea of water. Now, this is my first time to actually inspect the shoes since getting them, and they were listed as being well-worn, and so we're gonna see how well-worn they actually are. But on first glance, I'm not seeing a lot of dirt. They're pretty clean. The suede is a little bit, maybe a little bit mm, worn looking, but not something that immediately stands out. I think maybe the color is slightly faded over if these were a brand new pair because they've been worn out in the sun, I'm sure. I don't know, at least in the lighting of this room, they look pretty darn nice. Now this is the New Balance 2002R model, which arguably was the most popular silhouette that kind of kicked things off for the New Balance craze. And I think we can attribute that to the Salehi Bembry design effect, having come out with these and an orange pair as well. Now for me, this is 
the colorway that attracted me immediately. That's why I wanted to pick these up right from the start. I love blue and green and this turquoise aquamarine color was absolutely beautiful to me. And so this is the pair I wanted more than the orange pair that came out. The orange pair is really hard to get in Japan. I don't even know that I remember seeing more than one or two pairs available. So I don't know if it was more rare in general or unavailable in general, but certainly in Japan, there are not a lot of pairs floating around. And beyond the colorway, I was also attracted to the story and the incredible details on these shoes. The story, of course, Salahi Bembri loves the outdoors. Apparently, a lot of his shoes are outdoor based in terms of the storytelling. In fact, the yurts that I showed you earlier, they're basically a hiking shoe and that's what I've been using them as. I've been hiking on several mountains in these already. As you can see, the outsoles, everything's worn and starting to look a bit beat, but they've been really comfortable as hiking shoes. And that outdoor theme, of course, started with these, the water theme, using the artwork of the Grand Canyon and the waterfalls. I really love that. There's also a tie to the Native American tribe that is in that Arizona Valley, the only Native American tribe apparently that lives in the Grand Canyon. Just having that all as a backstory for these shoes is a lot of fun. The shoes themselves, beyond the colorway being aquamarine and then orangish brown dust of the Grand Canyon, they don't scream that story to the random passerby. But what might stand out to the random passerby is the details on the shoe. The first obvious one is this very hairy, soft suede all around it. That is coupled with this brown mesh, which basically these are meant to be wearable outside and so there's a lot of perforation and very open. It seems like this would be a pair of shoes that if you wore them, your feet would not get too hot despite the fact that this hairy suede is quite thick. It also has these leather panel hits here at the front underneath the laces, back here where it says 2002R, and then finally on the tongue itself and the leather it just looks like the type of leather you'd find on a dress shoe or on a pair of boots or something, which strikes me as being quite nice quality. And I think that's also been an MO of Slay Memory collaborations. The materials used have always been top notch. Not to mention New Balance tends to use a higher quality of material than Nike or Jordan brand a lot of the times. So I don't know, shots fired, but I think that's pretty much true. In amongst the turquoise, you've got these hits of green, two different types on the New Balance and itself, and then over here on the outsole, and then finally on the bottom, on the sole here, you've got this green as well. And it does say New Balance running here on the tongue. I understand the 2002R is a running shoe at heart, or at least as its origin, but I will not be running in these to be sure. The insole also, interestingly enough, is cork. So you've got kind of a normal foam insole here, but the top of it is cork, and then that's all over perforated, again, for breathability. And looking at the insoles, and the fact that the branding is still here, it doesn't look like these were worn a lot. So the fact that these were described as well-worn, they are in better shape than the price belies. So I think I got a pretty good deal here. The other detail that I feel needs to be pointed out, if you become familiar with Salehi Bembry's work since then on the Crocs and the slides and almost everything else that he's made, I believe this is also part of a fingerprint motif that he does on so many of his works. We have that fingerprint detail on the back panel here. And we also have Salehi Bembry across the laces it's not really a lace lock, I don't think. I don't think you can call that a lace lock, but just an overlay leather piece on the laces. The last detail I feel that's worth pointing out, other than that it comes with extra laces, two different colors, so three colors in total, is apparently, as a designer of fashion, of clothes, this material that is the deep green part of the N here, is a material that he often uses in his clothing designs. So there's even that connection, this throwback of the material of the N to his fashion design. It seems like New Balance gave Salehi Bembry kind of free reign to do what he wanted to do with the shoes and 
I think he knocked it out of the park. I'm so happy to have these in hand finally, and I'm probably gonna throw them straight to feet today because I've wanted to wear these for a long time. I'm really, really happy, as one might expect when you pick up a shoe that you've desired for so, so long. Now, maybe you don't mess with New Balance, maybe you think it's weird that I like these so much because it is maybe a loud color for a lot of people, but let us know in the comments what you think. I'm really happy and I'm glad I have a chance to share this video with you. Thank you so much for watching. Continue watching for further sneaker content, subscribe, all those good things. If you want to learn more about life in Japan or sneaker culture in Japan, please subscribe, hit that notifications bell, and then watch my future videos. So thanks so much for watching this one, and I will catch you next time. Peace.